Hello, can you hear me now? <laughs> okay, welcome back to my Poshmark studio, everybody. It's been a couple of weeks since my last video. I've been sort of busy and I'm um, very glad to be here today. This is reseller related content today. Um, if you don't know me and this is the first time you're here, my name is Janine Agolia. You can find my Poshmark closet. That's the um, platform I use to sell, resell, um, used clothing. And um, it's at Janine Agolia. So if you've never been on Poshmark before and you want to check it out and you want to sign up, um, if you use my code, I get a $10 credit and you get a $10 credit um, towards your first Poshmark purchase. So it's at Janine Agolia. So uh, today we're going to have a mystery box unboxing. Da -da -da. Mystery box. I love mystery boxes, especially as of late. Um, the stores are still not open. We're still in the middle of a pandemic. Well, actually, we're, I think we're getting towards, we're, we're seeing the light. So um, we'll be able to source as we normally do, going to Goodwill and um, places like that, Salvation Army, estate sales, stuff like that. But um, until then, I have been using Poshmark as my main source for getting product for my store. And today we have a mystery box from, I know I have it here somewhere. Let's see. La, 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 la. Okay, it's not on the box. All right. Called a, an eight item, not so mystery box from artsy underscore chic on Poshmark. Um, if, you, if you really like um, what you see here, please go check out her closet. Um, I really, I already opened it and I looked at it and I really like the pieces that are in here. Um, and for those of you who don't know what a not so mystery box is, it's um, when people on the Poshmark platform put together a box full of like different um, items and they kind of like take a teaser photo of just like the tops of the items or just like scrunched together. And it's like a, like a little treat once you get it, because you're not really sure what you're getting, but you have an idea. So, okay. Thank you very much, artsy underscore chic. Let's check it out. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna talk about some, some, some different things that are happening. Um, so, <laughs> this is cute. I, I haven't looked at it in like a week or so. I got this like, actually no, it was like two weeks ago. Um, so I'm just like re-looking at it now for the first time. Okay, so right off the bat, like Zara Woman, this is gonna sell really quickly. This really cute gingham bell sleeve blouse here. And that is a size small. Yeah, really cute, perfect for the summer. Right. Okay. And I'm a bit more organized today, believe it or not. I have an agenda. Um, I actually wrote some of the things that I wanted to go over. Topics of conversation. Um, the big news is I'm going to be a grandmother. Yup. We just found out two weeks ago that my stepdaughter Felicia is going to have a baby. So that makes me a grandma. I'm going to be a grandma in December. Hell yeah. <laughs> So that is the best news. And um, even some really good news on the heels of that is, okay, so I got laid off. I know that's not good news, but I got laid off a few weeks ago, um, like four weeks after the pandemic started from my day job. And I'm gonna mention the name here. I didn't mention it in my last video, but since I'm not gonna be working for them anymore, it's cool. Um, I was working for TJ Maxx and First of all, that company is an amazing company to work for. Um, their ethics is fantastic. Um, the way they treat the employees there, and it, it's just like a big family. And um, during this time of crisis, they were paying us, even though we weren't even going to work, like they were paying us for, I think it was like three or four weeks, they paid us um, according to our average weekly salary. So uh, yeah, an amazing company to work for. However, drum roll, I don't have to work for them anymore because I'm making more than I was making um, at TJ Maxx reselling. That means 
I, Janine Agolia, am a full-time reseller on Poshmark. How about that? <laughs> so, I'm here to tell you, you can do it too. It's super fun, super easy. I mean, if you're into fashion, like I am, um, and you're into taking photos, and you're into like all sorts of like artsy things surrounding um, selling, and like you set up your own boutique and stuff like that, like that, that's my dream job. I have my dream job. <laughs> so yeah, that's the other news. Um, getting back to the box here. Okay. All right, we have a really cute free people mesh top. And I guess you could put it over like your, your tank top or whatever. I think this is adorable. Really good. Artsy chic, thank you very much. That's gonna sell quickly. And I have some more boxes coming to you, so that stay tuned for more unboxing videos. Oh, and if you like this video, please favorite the video, give me a thumbs up, give me some comments, send me some love. It's gonna be my birthday on May 15th, so send me some happy birthdays if you want. Um, here we go. We have a comfy t-shirt by Pure Good, and it is a size small. We got some long sleeve action going on here. That looks really nice to just hang around, bum around in that. Okay. Madewell. Love Madewell. Sells really well, and look how adorable this is. Now, I think this is a skirt. Yes, it's a skirt. Cute little skirt for the summer. Look at that. Great pattern. Very vintage vibe going on. Very cute. Love it. And that looks like a, yeah, small. Another comfy item. So far, I am very pleased with this box. Like all of the J. Crew, I have J. Crew, I have Madewell, I have Zara. Like these are some of the highest trending things on Poshmark. Easy to sell. All right, here we go. Very cute. J. Crew size small. I think these are called Ringer, Ringer long sleeve shirt. Don't quote me on that though. I'm not always right about that stuff. Okay. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, um, you can feel free to leave them in the comments and I will get back to you in, in a somewhat timely fashion. <laughs> okay. The Couples. This one I have not heard of, but I have a feeling, because just because from the quality, that it does well on Poshmark. Uh, yeah, this is really cute. Look at this. Details. Okay. And, oh wow. Okay. With tag, new with tag, Banana Republic size eight petite dress. And it is so cute. Look at this little boho kind of vibe. Little, little party dress, little cocktail dress, little date night dress. Very pretty. Last but not least, yeah, Current Elliot. Now, I've never sold this brand, but I know it's a brand that does well. So that's great. It's a size zero jeans. And they look like they're in great condition and everything smells really good. It's all really clean, thank goodness. Oh, and a nice released hem on this. So it's a skinny jean by Current Elliot, size zero. Although it looks like it runs a little big. Yeah. I'll put uh, measurements on, on the listing. So I will get these listed this week. I do have um, a box coming from my Uncle Al in New Jersey. He sent me a box. So I didn't have to like pay for any of this product. But um, thanks, Uncle Al, if you're watching. Um, it's going to be men's clothes, which is something I don't normally do. But... Given the circumstances, I am open to ideas. And I think what I'm going to do is take the clothes that he sent me, go through them. I know he said a lot of them like have, they're like new with tags or they're like new. Um, I might do a mystery box of my own or like um, a not so mystery box 
for men's clothing because I know there are a lot of um, men who are selling on Poshmark now and they also need product for their stores. Okay, let me see if I covered everything. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm like, okay, yeah, so, so, um, I am going to be sending a letter to TJ Maxx this week, um, just like a, a formal letter of resignation, although we are a very informal clan there. Um, I want to say here on this platform, thank you to any of you, um, who I've worked with for the last four years at TJ Maxx. I'm going to miss you a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. But um, I'm really happy that this is working out for me. It's a long time dream realized. So on the heels of 40, I have attained one of my lifelong dreams to run a successful business that has to do with fashion and clothing. So um, it's bittersweet, mostly sweet. Um, and uh, they asked me, well, I guess my, my main boss there, the general manager, um, requested that I send like a formal business plan. And I thought to myself, gee, I don't have one of those. So maybe I should like get one of those put together. And then I started looking over um, all these different sites and um, uh, just watched some YouTube videos on how to make a business plan. And I had never been so bored in my life. Like, okay, that's one way to do it. You can have those methods, but what I have going on is working. I am going to make my own organic business plan. And right now my business plan is like very near slated. So what that means is like within the next two months, I want to up my listing game. I want to have at least 500 listings by the end of June. Um, in my Poshmark store right now, I'm up to 110, 110 around there active listings. So the more listings you got on, on Poshmark, the, the better your sales will go. Um, so that's, that's my, my nearsighted goal. Um, um, far, farther into the future, um, is going to be looser because um i have a tendency to like if i make a list of things to do i put way too much on that list and then i really don't want to get to it or i'm at exhausted at the end of the day i find that the more organic approach to um, a business for me is what works and i think people in this day and age need to do whatever works for them specifically or for whatever it is that you feel comfortable with. Because otherwise, why run your own business if you're not comfortable with the parameters that you set for yourself? So having stated that, we'll see how that works out. So far, it's working out really great. <laughs> um, okay, I think that's it. Um, and a special message to Denny. You know who you are. I am going to miss you most of all, Scarecrow. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully I'll have another uh, video coming up next week. Um, that's it. All right. Take care. Oop. Namaste. <laughs> Bye. Showing up my socks.